Hi, my name is Dave Whiteley, and I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to uh, show you um, one of our uh, products that we've just finished writing. It's um, part of the iTool suite of uh, um, add-ins for Inventor 2015 and 2016 that you can download from our website, envisageuk.com. If you go to the free apps button, then you've got the uh, application that you can download with all the various add-ins and the videos. The one I'd like to go through now is one called iFrame, which will enable you to automatically number frame generator members. First thing you need to do is you um, run up Inventor 2015 or 2016, no model open, go to the Envisage Apps ribbon, and here we'll see the iFrame settings. And here we can change the format of the frame members. In this case, uh, it's dash followed by three numbers starting at one. If I want it to be two digits, I'll just get rid of one of these asterisks here. Click on OK. That's now reset it to dash and then two digits. If we run up a, an assembly, go to our frame generator, and you've got to remember or make sure that you untick the prompt for file name and the prompt to um, get the frame members part number from the content center. If you don't do this, it won't number the frame members properly. I've also got the um, select construction uh, switched off as well. So I'm just going to um, window around the model. That will uh, preview the uh, frame members. Click on OK. And the first thing that you're going to get is the, uh, the frame uh, uh, sub-assembly in the skeleton na uh, file name in a uh, dialog box, you'll notice that the iframe add-in names the frame sub-assembly with the assembly name followed by dash frame, and the skeleton with the assembly name dash skeleton. This is extremely useful for products like the Vault, where you're trying to keep your file names unique. If we click on OK, that'll go ahead and add the frame members. And these get named, as we can see at the bottom left-hand corner here of the inventor screen, where we've got the assembly name, which in this case is just called frame one, followed by dash 001, dash 002, etc., um, as part of our naming scheme. If I delete, uh, say, this frame member and then use reuse, the reuse command will work. It will give us a, a, fr a, a group of frames using the same frame number, obviously. One thing that you need to be aware of is please do not break reuse members. If you do, it will not, it will, it will strip off a frame member, but it will name it as the, the frame generator used to. So the best thing you can do is actually delete the frame member and add it again using the uh, frame generator. Obviously, if we go to uh, the bit of materials, I'm going to look at the bit of materials, then of course all the part numbers are correct. And if we add the um, the item quantity, uh, which we, let me just uh, delete one of these components. And just use reuse again. So we got two the same. All right, if we now go to the uh, frame generator, the bit of materials. And we go to the con chooser and add the item quantity you'll notice that we've got the item quantity for the uh, components the frame members and one of these where we were using of course then we got frame uh, number 11 we've actually got two in the uh, in the frame member group so it all works quite nicely and um, the great thing is that you've got control of your frame naming and uh, the uh, the ability to keep file names unique which is extremely useful for the vault so uh, and that, thank you very much indeed.